Tonight, a former La Jolla police chief faces life in jail for playing a part in a drug trafficking, or at least playing a part of drug trafficking here in the Valley. Giovanni Hernandez was arrested Saturday and is in U.S. Marshals custody. Channel 5's Carolina Cruz was in court today for Hernandez's initial appearance in court. She breaks down the events leading to Hernandez's arrest. Carolina. Giovanni Hernandez spoke to Channel 5 when he was on the other side of the law. He detailed what it was like combating drug activity right here in this area. In a turn of events, today he stood before a judge facing drug charges. We were there. We're focusing on it. We're working on it. As Giovanni Hernandez became La Jolla police chief, he promised to fight crime, specifically drug activity. Uh, we got to make sure that we build a safer community. Uh, we need to make sure that we battle uh, drug trafficking and avoid, uh, actually prevent from those uh, uh, drugs uh, ending up in our uh, school districts and our neighbor's uh, backyard. He went from chasing criminals. Our information says that it's different cartels operating in this area, uh, along actually by, by, uh, by the, with the assistance of local gang members. To aiding them. A months-long investigation captured in three pages. Federal documents detail Hernandez's criminal activity. May 30th, Hernandez met with a confidential informant to plot out their plan. He disclosed being close friends with Juan Manuel Losa Salinas, known as El Toro, boss of the Gulf Cartel in Reynosa. The former police chief said he needed money for his campaign for Hidalgo County Constable. The informant said they transported vehicles with drugs northbound and needed help running records on the cars. A job Hernandez said would cost $1,000 or more. To top it off, Hernandez told the informant cartel leaders knew him and he traveled to Reynosa, no problem at all, an act he previously decried. Sometimes they themselves voice it out to us. Hey, I belong to MS-13, I'm working for the cartel. Um, operating for cartels in your area. They say it is not a secret, uh, and they're not keeping it secret anymore. They voice it out to us, and that's a big concern. June 2017 pinpoints transactions between Hernandez and the informant for license plate records. On July 11th, the informant said they would drive a vehicle from a warehouse in Progreso to load it with, quote, items, then drive to FAR a $10,000 job if successfully completed. Hernandez would get a cut of that money if he helped. He agreed, telling the informant not to disclose what was in the vehicle. The final transaction happened a month ago on July 15th. Homeland Security Investigation Special Agents loaded 10 bricks of white powdery substance weighing nearly 10 kilos into a vehicle. Only one of those bricks contained cocaine hydrochloride. Hernandez helped get the loaded vehicle through Progreso, and was paid $5,000 for his role in the transaction. Hernandez faces 10 years to life in jail if convicted for his charges. Additional, additionally, he could be facing a fine not exceeding $10 million. Live in the studio, Carolina Cruz, Channel 5 News at 6. And as Carolina mentioned, Giovanni Hernandez has a long history of working with law enforcement in some capacity. Every leader of every gang, every cartel, cartel member, especially leaders, they take their job very seriously. And uh, as far as uh, accomplishing their goals, they do whatever, uh, whatever it takes to achieve their, their mission. And last year we spoke to Hernandez. He was a general manager of a private security and law enforcement consulting company at that time.